Am I the asshole? For forcing my kid to get a job even though it hurts her social life at school. So my daughter Sophia is 16 and she goes to a private school that a lot of the richer families send their kids. My wife works there so we get a huge discount on the price. I would prefer to send the kids to public school but our school district sucks a lot, so private it is. I truly don't like how the kids act at that school, the best way is that they are snobby. My breaking point for this was my son sent a video of my daughter being extremely rude to a fast food worker. My wife and I discussed it and we agreed she needed to get a job so she will understand that those people deserve respect and how awful it feels for a customer to be a jerk. So she has been working at Target and dealing with all the customers. She hates it and it got out in school she has a job. This resulted in people not inviting her out like they used to since she is lame for having a job. My wife wants to let her quit her job and we got in an argument about it. I think it's better she learns they were never her friends in the first place and she should keep her job. My wife thinks I am unfair a jerk and Sophia hates me at the moment. Am I the asshole? For this. Not the asshole. But as a former food service worker in high school, I believe that everyone should have to work one full year so you hit all the holidays once as a food service or frontline store worker so they are likely to think twice before abusing staff after that. Maybe do something similar? She has to work for one full year, including full time over the summer. Not the asshole. While it sucks that your daughter isn't going to as many parties, I think you are correct in that they were never her friends if they think it's lame for a 16 year old to get a job. Stick to your guns. Your daughter needs to learn that while working isn't always fun, it is important. Unlike her so called friends, she doesn't have rich parents to bankroll her life. Earning and saving now will teach very important lessons that go beyond showing empathy to working people. Info has your daughter learned her lesson and changed her attitude toward fast food and retail workers? Not the asshole. Some of Sophia's classmates might be trust fund babies, and never actually need a job, but Sophia is going to have to have a career like a normal person. If she wants a successful career, she needs to learn how not to be an asshole. Info. Did you find out why she was rude to the fast food worker? While I agree it is good to set morals and her getting a job, it isn't your job to show her that her friends aren't real. It is up to her to decide. Clearly money isn't the goal, and unlike what you claim, it most likely won't help towards her resume either. If she has learned her lesson, I don't see the good in putting stress on her academics and social life. If she has not learned her lesson, not sure what the best way would be. I am slightly worried that your dislike of people there is hurting your daughter. Info maybe this is implied but did you talk to her and make sure she knows why she being asked to hold down this job? As long as she knows that she's supposed to be reflecting on this experience and learning through experience that just because you work a low wage job it doesn't mean that you're less of a human or deserve less respect than anyone else I think this is great parenting. Not the asshole. Sounds like your kid was being a biatch and you handled it literally the best possible way. People who work those jobs very often have to sacrifice any social life they have just to make ends meet. For her, it's just an inconvenience. And honestly, does your wife want to accommodate her your daughter's friends because they think working is lame? Jesus Christ. You're not the asshole for making her get a job and treat people respectfully. Why possibly T.A. for making her go to school with rich, snobby kids and then getting mad at her for acting snobby? Being the poor kid in a rich town sucks. If it was your only option then it is what it is, but you should be kind and thoughtful about the way you handle it since you're the reason she goes to school there. Not the asshole. If she lost friends because she works then they were never truly her friends in the first place. Your daughter is learning a valuable life lesson keep her working. Not the asshole, it's a good lesson for her. Off topic, but this felt straight out of a Dharman video. Not the asshole at all. Good on you for this and keep at it, 
this is a lesson that needs to be learned now or she'll never learn it. Also, what teenager doesn't want extra spending cash? Plus, Target is nowhere near the worst retail job she could be working. Overall this seems completely reasonable. The whole point of parenting is to raise a healthy functional adult, not to create like, the perfect teenage experience, so you are not the asshole. Better to deal with a pissy teen for a year than to be responsible for unleashing an unbearable adult on the world. Not the asshole. Went to a private school myself got a scholarship and kids there are horrible. I'd make a deal with your daughter that she has to last a certain time before being allowed to quit. Yes being a teen sucks, but those kids are never going to fully accept her either way. Honestly if this school has a culture of bullying people for having a job, then you need to move schools. Not the asshole. Your daughter is inheriting bad habits and sounded entitled, she needs to learn her lesson and the mom needs to stop enabling. Not the asshole. I think this is a really positive and empowering consequence for her. She's gaining retail and customer service experience, earning her own money, adding a job to her resume, learning responsibility and work ethic, learning to appreciate the value of money and hard work and how to manage her time and money. She's also gaining confidence and boosting her self-esteem as well as learning social skills and respect for others. These are all really great life lessons to be learned and it sounds like now is the perfect time for her to learn them. Going with not the asshole. Kids need to learn not to treat people poorly, why a good work ethic is important, and losing friends like that is a shitty excuse for quitting. Not the asshole as long as you don't make her work at McDonald's. Not the asshole. I am of the opinion that everyone should be required to work a menial customer service job at some point in their lives. If for no other reason than to have the eye-opening experience of terrible customers. You can often spot the former retail workers and wait staff because even when rightfully upset, they try to handle it how they would have wanted to be treated in a similar situation. Not the asshole. It sounds like a reasonable response to the entitled way she acted and an educational one. I think hoping she'll realize those kids aren't her true friends is expecting too much, though. The social side of school can be tough at that age, especially if you're at a school where most kids are more privileged than you. Having to also confront the fact that your friends care so little they're willing to drop you over something like having a job sounds like an extra helping of social misery. Natar. Not the asshole. She's going to meet her other co-workers and learn they are real people. Hopefully that should open her eyes that her school friends are just rude snobs. Life lessons are usually hard. Not the asshole this is some much needed social experience. Not the asshole I hated working in school too, but it taught me how life works and I'm better for it. Everyone should have to work at least one retail or fast food job in their lives. You're going to end up raising an asshole if she doesn't learn how to treat others. Not the asshole even Brooklyn Beckham was told to get a job by his parents so he could learn the value of hard work and money when he was 15. He was working in a local coffee shop as a waiter. 